Yes, it's Dr. G. I was hoping by this time I'd be telling you we can all go out and run loose and COVID was behind us, but it doesn't unfortunately look that way. So here's your update. First, I wanna give you some exciting news. We're really happy that our renovation of Pacific Pearl is complete. And when you come in to see us following next week, some of us will be upstairs in beautifully new renovated space. So we're excited about that. We're also excited, and you'll hear more about this, that we now have microcurrent neurofeedback available uh, at the Pearl. And I'm going to be sending out some special information for Zoom education meeting that you're all going to be invited to. Uh, I'm really excited about this technology for anxiety, for depression, for sleep. It's, it's, I got a feeling it's gonna do away with uh, a lot of pills and probably even a lot of supplements. So that's the exciting news. Uh, you know our numbers are up in San Diego County uh, and certainly they're up in the world. We have over 13 million cases now of COVID-19. So here are your rules. Fresh out of Japan, and I agree with them. It's called the three C's. This is how Japan managed to squelch uh, their COVID problem. No crowds, no close contact settings, right? So you can't come into close contact with people and no closed spaces. So the more we're out and about, the better. You know this, uh, our, our members are doing great. Uh, you have to wear your face mask. You don't touch your face. You have to wash your hands, wash, wash, wash your hands. And you have to support your immune system, which we'll talk about a little bit later. A reminder uh, about COVID hotlines. There's something called coronavirus.org. The Scripps Nurse Hotline, the number remains the same, 888-261-8431. And of course, UCSD has a hotline as well. Now for more good information, uh, we have over 140 teams of researchers around the world who are eagerly looking to get a vaccine out. Uh, just so you know, uh, phase three trial is one in which the next step is vaccine approval. So we already see phase three trials happening uh, in Germany, in the UK, in China, and I'm happy to say uh, Moderna here, right here in San Diego, is going to have a phase three trial by the end of this month. So that's really good news. And uh, a great update is that Scripps Research uh, Institute has actually discovered which of the antibodies work and they've isolated some genetic material from those that know how to neutralize the virus. So everyone, all these brilliant minds are working on this. In the meantime, we have to maintain our vigilance. Over in the hospital, uh, remdesivir has been used for compassionate therapy now. Uh, there's more research coming out on neutralizing antibodies. Uh, so uh, we're getting a feeling, a better feeling for how to treat COVID-19, but that doesn't mean you let down your guard. You continue to do all the things we've been talking about all along. For those of you taking blood pressure medicines, uh, ACEs and ARBs, uh, medications that some of you called me about and said, should I stop my blood pressure medicine? Uh, we said no, and the research now validates that with a brand new paper that's just been published with over 4,000 people uh, showing there's absolutely no need to change your blood pressure medication if you are taking an ACE or an ARB. So I've been told I can only talk to you for five minutes or less because they say that's all you have for an attention span. And of course, I don't believe that. So I decided to make up our new COVID mnemonic. You know I like mnemonics. So I want you to remember C. C is for connection, stay connected, family, friends, pick up the phone, talk to someone who's home alone, someone who's socially isolated. O, O is our reminder, let's get outside, let's be in nature, let's breathe fresh air, let's walk, let's do some hikes. The V is for victory. We are going to have a victory over all of this. We will be talking about this in the past tense, 
For right now, the V is also a reminder that we must remain vigilant. The I is our reminder to improve our immune system. And we improve our immune system by getting a good night's sleep, not watching bad news. Put that news away, 10 minutes a day maximum. Eating fruits and vegetables, getting out and walking in nature, taking our anti-inflammatory supplements, taking our immune support supplements. These are not a cure for COVID, but what they do is they help to give our body the ingredients that our body needs to fight in general. So if you have any questions about what you should be taking, you know how to find us, 858-459-6919. And finally, uh, the D for our COVID mnemonic today is to do, do good. Go on out, volunteer. I want you to figure out if you can do Meals on Wheels, help people get food, call Jewish Community Services and see if they need drivers, try it for food delivery and so on, San Diego Rescue Mission, whatever it is, write a check, no matter how small, it all adds up and makes a difference. We're all in this together and we will come through this. So talk to you again soon.